Hi everyone, I'm Gerald, Ginger Gerald Stitcher, and I'm here with Mindy, Minty Stitcher. You can find her on her YouTube channel as Minty Stitcher, or on Instagram as Minty Stitcher. I will have it all linked below. Lots of mint. And this is our initial video in a series of talking with uh, YouTube Vlasu's cross stitchers. So I hope you enjoy the, the series. Uh, I, this has been a long time in the making for me to think about uh, ways that I can come up with talking with cross stitchers about our craft. So I hope you like it. And um, yeah, so Mindy and I met at the, uh, the Midwest Cross Stitchers Retreat in Minneapolis, Minnesota. 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 Yeah. Uh, back in October, and we are actually going to get to see each other again this year in October. I can't wait. I can't wait either. I can't I wait. Know. I know. Only at March. We yeah, need to what? start counting down. Seven, seven months, right? Seven months and counting. I think it's seven months. What, three? Yeah, seven months. So, anyways. I'm not going to wish away the summer, though. So I no, I'm not either, because that means then that's the opening of spring and I'm or of winter, and I'm like, mm, we're finally just getting to nice weather. Yep. But um, so I guess the first thing is, how Mindy did you get into cross stitch? Well, probably um, my mom used to cross stitch a little bit, not anywhere near what I do now, but my mom used to cross stitch and we, my dad was a uh, woodworker, cabinet maker. Uh, we used to hang out with an Amish family. And so we would go hang out, do country store with the Amish, do spend time with them. So my mom used to do a lot of Amish charts. And I think one day when I was um, homesick, she let me try a cross stitch. And I don't remember doing it a lot when I was really young and I spent more time doing it probably in the 90s, I think, a lot of 90s stitching. And so all of my early stitches my, my mom has because I never kept anything back. So I think precious I started, moments and teddy bears? Gosh, no, what did I stitch? A lot of Southwest, you know, because my house at okay. the time was like, oh, Southwest, of course, with like chili peppers and coca pelli and just all that stuff, feathers and a lot of a lot of Southwest design stuff. And um, but she's got most of it, so I don't have I don't have any of that old stuff, which is probably good. I apologize ahead of time if you guys hear a bunch of squeaky toys because uh, Niobe, my husky, is here squeaking her Bob Ross toy like crazy because she knows I'm home from work now, so she wants to play. So I apologize. Um, so yeah, that's she She did cross stitch a little bit, and I did for a while, but I didn't get into it big until probably into the 90s. And I... And you've been... Hmm? Have you been big ever since the 90s or oh. have you been phases like in and out of it or? There's lots of phases. So I'd stitch for six months and then I wouldn't stitch for two or three years. And then I'd stitch again for six months and not stitch again for two or three years. So very, very much into phases. And so I kind of got back into a phase a year ago and uh, started stitching and then I found out so like November, we're saying November, 2016. Okay. I started into a heavy stitching phase and I didn't know about floss tube at the time. Um, I didn't know a lot of stitchers. I didn't know a lot of people my age that stitched. I just did it because I like to do it. And um, So I'm I curious, like, what got you into, or what piqued your interest in November that brought you back to cross stitch? Like, was there a pattern? that caught your eye or? I was stitching at the time, um, counted canvas actually, because I was okay. kind of, I was kind of bored with just doing X's and I thought I wanted to try something new and I was going to try needlepoint. And 
I realized how much money needlepoint canvases were, so I changed yeah. my mind. I'm not going to do that. Um, and then I was at my LNS stitch bill and saw Nancy's needle, some um, counted canvas stuff that had satin stitches and different different types of stitches, and I wanted to do something different. And I tried some of those and loved it because they stitch up super fast compared to cross stitch, and it was fun. And um, I was there picking up some new stuff. And that's where I ran into um, Michelle, Farm Girl Stitcher. So we worked together. I had no idea she stitched. And I said, what are you doing here? She's like, what are you doing here? We found out we both stitched and um, she's like, hey, you gotta watch Floss Tube. You gotta go Stitch Mania. You've gotta, and it just kind of opened up my world to everybody and new and friends, you've been since. retreats and videos, lost two videos and learning how to, to do things that, you know, like loop starts and pin stitches and, you know, all the things I had no idea about. So that's kind of how I started. Yeah. Cool. So now that you've been, so you've been stitching since right around the same time I got back into it was 2016. Mm -hmm. And, um, so since you were doing can canvas, so obviously since then you've like your world has been open to a whole lot of new pattern makers and mm -hmm. floss makers and dyers and fabric design or dyers or so let's talk about favorites. So do you have like what are your favorite designers as far as like patterns or styles that you like to stitch? Yeah, my favorite styles, I have a lot of designers i really like <clears throat> my favorite styles are more modern i'm probably a more modern stitcher i don't stitch primitive stuff i don't really stitch samplers <clears throat> i can't stitch we say that now but you know in a couple <laughs> months she's going to be stitching some primitive there's a chance sampler yeah there's a chance um i see something i like and I just roll with it, you know, it's gonna happen. But usually I do more modern stuff. I do, um, I love Chatelaine. I have, which I'm probably never gonna stitch in a lifetime, but I think I have four or five sitting in my iPad waiting for me. Um, one that I'm currently working on, but I got kind of a finish frenzy watching everybody else do finishes all the time. And all I had were BAPs. Yeah, big, huge projects and uh, I wanted finishes once in a while because it's kind of fun to feel like you're getting somewhere. So that's when I started some of the more medium size. I don't do really any small stuff either, but some of the medium yeah. stuff I love. I don't know, currents. Like I like doing things from my favorite movies, from my favorite shows. I love all Halloween. I love anything beach related. I love architecture i love anything bright and colorful i love you know i don't really have a thing so much i just see something that catches my eye and before i know it it's in the basket it happens yeah so actually if you aren't following her yet and you should be she's actually right now stitching a, a, a really neat darth vader that she's been stitching most of um march right you've been stitching pretty much yeah i started right before my birthday yeah yeah so, so second week if you can send me a picture we'll insert it here sure and it's it's amazing and she's actually converted all the colors to color and cotton right color and cotton yep Except from dmc dmc i'm using so it's really neat. I think it's 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 a neat thing, and I I love the fact that you changed the um, the colors just to you know something different because a lot of people, especially something like that, wouldn't actually think to do a color conversion. And all you did was took take one of the color or help me out the here descriptions from yes. Thank yeah. you. So Angela sent out uh, the one month of the subscription to the cotton, color and cotton subscription pack and it worked out perfectly for this pattern. So you just threw it in there and 
it's, it's I, don't, I mean, you've yeah. seen it, yeah, it's it's picture, so. cool. I, I can't put it down. I'm obsessed with it. I tried to do a birthday start, which I was super excited to start. And I worked on it for like an hour and I put it back down and picked up Vader again. So I just can't seem to leave him alone. I just, and I started, I changed the colors on him because he was basically black and dark gray. And I really loved the chart, but I'm just, I'm just a more colorful stitcher than that. So well, and it, you didn't really change the colors that much, but it just nope. gives a little bit more depth to color and like the purples give it a little bit more of like a, a space look to it. Like a, yeah. I don't know, like maybe a movie scene space look. A little more galaxy. So, not yeah. Space. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited about getting that one done. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's going to be neat. It's neat. Yeah. So do you, okay. So we talked designers and patterns. Um, what about like, do you have a, a special floss or color or design? Do you have a like a specific? Do you have a favorite floss or floss, DM, like cotton versus silk? Have you used silk before? I, uh, um, I used silk in my Chatelaine. That was my first experience. Oh, yeah. um, some of it is so soft that it tends to. I feel like not a little bit easier, but I love it. Okay. I love stitching with it. I love it. Um, it's like butter, but I had, and I, my Victoria sampler is silks too. So, you know, I think a lot of people, if you could afford it, you'd stitch everything in silk because it's beautiful to stitch with. Um, but favorite, I really like the color in cotton. That was fun. Uh, the eggplant, that royal blue purple color was probably my favorite color. Which is actually in the, in the pack that you're using in the dark yeah. vapor. Yes, that's probably my favorite that I'm working with right now. Otherwise, anything mint, you know, dark mint, light mint, medium mint. If surprise, I'm surprise. Boss, the minty stitcher mint. likes mint. Yes, anything mint. You should see everything. Like my purse is mint, my cups are mint, my everything I own is mint. So yeah, it makes my heart happy. So if I can stitch with mint, I'll do it. But I really like that lapis blue that bright blue royal blue color to me so that's my favorite right now okay cool and what about fabrics everything almost everything i shouldn't say everything but almost everything i stitch is um 32 count lugana i do have some black ada i'm working on right now um i did my biscornu on some ada just because i hadn't stitched one before and I thought that would be easier to start with so I did that but if if I can I'll stitch it on Lugana like evenly and I do have a fabric of the month from Fiberlicious that I really like a lot um, but I kind of hoard that stuff it's all like in a big stack in my stitchy room um, if I have cool. something that's a little bit more tame that I'm stitching I use that because they're a little bit wilder fabrics uh, but if I need something a little bit more more tame that I'm stitching on I'll just dye it myself so so you like a, a, a mixture of the tame mild like the more subtle but then you also like the the very wild oh I love the wild stuff the problem is just finding a chart that's appropriate for the wild stuff but yeah. I love looking at some of it I just want to frame just to have it framed but I love the wild stuff but it just doesn't work with everything yeah just work with everything so I'll just dye something or I'll find something on uh, picture this plus or um, a lot of people that I, I like their fabrics a lot. So it just depends if I'm looking for something specific, I'll just kind of go through the different websites until I find something. That sure. A lot of different places. Cool. So, um, so I asked you to have some finishes available. Like, do you have a favorite finish you'd like to show us or? Uh, one of my favorite finishes I just did was my, um, my Mandala Fox. And I'm trying to think. This was amazing pattern studio, I think. I think. So lighting wise, does that come in through? All right. Yep, you're good. Yep. I feel like I'm getting 
Are you seeing? Yep. You're good. Yep. Back it up just a bit to get the whole. There you go. Yeah. That's good. So that's probably one of my favorite finishes lately. And you framed that yourself, right? I did. Uh, I'm getting better at it. This is probably the one that turned out the best so far of my framing. I've only had one professionally framed so far and it turned out great. It's just not something I could do financially regularly. And then this one, I didn't frame quite as well, but this is my, um, my home. Yeah, you say that, but I still, I, I don't see where. That's uneven to you? No, I, I think it looks great from what I'm looking. I mean, I think it looks great. Yeah, because this one, I bought through across the room before I was done with it. Unless so you point it out, I can't see the, I mean. Enter it, so. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, this one, um, I finished just a little bit ago, and this was a Stitchrovia pattern. Yes, it is, I believe. And you changed uh, that, you changed those colors too, right? Colors too, yeah. I'm getting more better. I'm getting more adventurous with my my changes. I never I never used to change anything. I think a lot of stitchers start out that way where they're afraid the stitchy police are gonna come and knock on their door and you can follow the rules. You didn't do it on the fabric we gave you. We didn't do it you didn't do it on the glass we gave you or told you to do it on, but it's kind of fun. I'm just starting to be more adventurous that way. Well, yeah, I think it's important to do things the way you like it. And, you know, the, the patterns there is a guide and, you know, and to be adventurous and to make it your own. I don't know. I've never been, I mean, I've always in life, I've always gone by the book, but for some reason in cross stitch, I've always just been like, do what you want when you want it. That's why it's your craft. <laughs> exactly. I, I think, uh, I think for me, the reason why I didn't do it earlier is because I think I was afraid I was going to screw it up. You know, it's not yeah, that's understandable. I don't necessarily know if these colors will go, you know, it takes a lot of thought to sometimes. And it takes a lot of time. So you don't want to mess it up. Right. So like if you, if you do something, you put lots of hours into it and then all of a sudden you're halfway through the project and you're like, no, this isn't working. And then you have yeah. to start over again or pull oh. something out. And it's like, it's deflating. Yep. Yep. I agree. So, so yeah. nothing big. Change the colors on anything big yet. Just little stuff. But. Well, I think the bigger it is, the harder it is just because of like, well, I guess the more colors there are, the harder it makes it to, to make it work. Like I would never change colors on a full coverage or like a, Oh no. A hate or, you know, heaven and earth or. Chatelaine or. Yeah. No. No, but like stitch rovias or stuff like that, or you know, uh, even Big maybe blocks of color. You can yeah, a little bit more free with it. There's a couple yeah. that I have planned that I want to do, um, that I want to change the the colors on a little bit more. But they're gonna sit. They're gonna take some thought, and it comes down to you know having a couple hours at the end of my night where I can, I have a few hours of free time or two hours of free time. I don't, I don't want to sit and think about that, I guess, is what it comes down to. I'd rather just sit and stitch. That's my problem. Like, I'm just obsessed with stitching. So if I have a couple hours and I could convert colors on something or I could sort floss or, or I could stitch, I'll just stitch. Yeah. So, yeah, it's hard to find time to do other stuff. So that's a good segue into how long do you stitch? Or like, what is a good night for you of stitching? Or do you, you know, do you stitch every day? Do you stitch just on weekends? I try to stitch every day. <laughs> Depends on how many evil eyes I get at home. <laughs> you know, if I'm, I don't know. You know, you have to make time for your family. You got to walk sure. the dog and, you know, the whole girl process of, wash dry flat iron is exhausting and so yeah it kind of depends on the night how many errands i have to run but i try to make stitching keeps me awake so i also have a cutoff time now i won't stitch past nine o'clock if i'm trying to get in bed by 10 o'clock i have to stop stitching by nine o'clock because if i stitch on the weekend as long as i want to stitch i'll be up until 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning because it just it's like caffeine for me. Yeah. 
keeps me awake all night. So yeah, I have to cut it off. So probably two hours, I would say on average during the weeknight. It's not bad. And then the weekend, like this weekend, Jason was gone. So I pitched all weekend. <laughs> Don't tell him, but yeah. I, I ran a few errands here and there, but I pretty much sat and stitched all weekend because I could. It was kind of fun. And sometimes you just need that kind of a weekend. Yeah, you do. So then do you have any other hobbies or is this your one and only? I have other hobbies, but this one consumes me probably more than the other ones do. I got a sewing machine for Christmas, um, but mostly I think that's just for my stitching. So you're finishing so I zigzag my edges on my fabric once i dye something or yeah um if i need to cut fabric down then i can kind of finish the edges a little bit or do a finish i haven't learned really to sew so yet um but i want to i want to do project bags i want to learn how to do those a little bit better and um i snowboard so when it's cold and nasty here, we'll go do that once in a while. Um, hanging out with Niobe, doing, doing another- Doggy thing. stuff? Yeah, my husky people. I have my stitchy oh. people, I have my husky people, I have my Jeep people, you know, I have my groups of people, but cool. my stitchy people are the most important. So that's all that matters. Well, th Cool. Well, I think that covers everything. So I want to thank you. It was fun hanging out with for you. For taking the time. Yeah. And I hope all of you watching enjoyed this and uh, look forward to having some more videos. Um, and we will see you next time. Enjoy. Bye.